Morning, everybody. Zero people with one like. <laughs> How's that happen? All right, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, pleasure to be here with you. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, if you're new, my name is Steve. I'm guiding us through here. Sunday morning. You made the right choice to be here. What do you say we just get started straight away by laying down here on our stomachs? Fox. Fox. So you can lay on your stomach, drop your left ear to your mat, run your hands along your side body, and uh, tell you what, it's a little chilly today, everybody. Let's, uh, let's get started straight away by exhaling everything out. Through your nose together, we'll take a big collective inhale, fill up. And through your mouth, exhale, we empty out. Once again, inhale through your nose. Pull that breath in really deep. Exhale through your mouth, empty and clear it out. One more, y'all, inhale. Exhale, empty out. Let's turn our heads to the opposite side. Breathe in through your nose once again, nice and deep, everybody. Soak up this ocean air as deep as you can. Lips stay sealed. Exhale through your nose. Draw your navel up and in and begin to build this heat from within. Again, inhale, invite your breath in a little bit deeper. In through your nose. Lift, stay sealed, push your breath out through your nose, just in a gentle, calming way. Inhale. And exhale is the name of the game, everybody. This practice of yoga, this ancient science of yoga, is actually an eight-limbed path. This, which we do here, the physical practice of postures, of asana, yeah. is one of those limbs. Now, although, again, I use the word physical, this is really meant to be a mindful meditation, a mindful breathing meditation. Breathing in through your nose nice and deep, breathing out through your nose nice and slow. This is the optimal breath for the human body and one that builds heat tapas from within. If you are chilly now, you're going to forget that within a couple minutes. Okay, keep your breath flow and free no matter what today. I encourage you to push yourself a little bit, but make the practice healing. Let's not beat ourselves up. And of course, you know the third rule. You got to thank yourself for showing up. Positive internal dialogue matters everybody it matters inhale exhale all right let's work into some cobras bring your chin facing forward take your hands underneath your shoulders then slide them back tops of your fingertips lower rib cage little to no weight in your hands especially this first one or two 
Inhale, just lift your chest up a couple inches. You want to look straight down so that there's no wrinkles in the back of your neck. And exhale, we'll take her back down. And then we do it again, do it again. Inhale, lift up, lower back muscles, which are really, really important muscles. You know this. Exhale, take her back down. Those muscles start to engage, start to cook. Number three, inhale, you can press down a little bit, exploring your spine. Gentle is the key word. Exhale, take her back down, y'all. Let's go two more on your own. Okay, the breath is the barometer. What tells you the quality of your practice. It's also the foundation of this meditation. Ah, very good, everybody. Your exhale will take it right back down. You can press up to hands and knees here, tabletop. And then into some movement straight away. Five cat and cows, everybody. Look up, dip your stomach down, breathe it in. Exhale, round her down, chin to chest, breathe it out. Four more on your own. And then this tabletop is the perfect preface for the next posture. You simply curl your toes and lift your hips to the sky when you're done with those couple on your own for downward facing dog. How are you doing? It's been a long time. Good, everybody. Downward facing dog. Breathe, everybody. Breathe in that ocean air as deep as you can. Start to cleanse your body from the inside out. Start to heat your body from the inside out. First downward facing dog, you know the deal. You want to take some movement, some pedaling of your feet. You can totally do that. If you'd rather be still and just kind of you can do it either way, evaluate where you're starting, where are the points uh, that we need this yoga here today, where's the tightness, the resistance, notice that. Good everybody. Let's have a nice strong downward facing dog with your fingertips wide, just spreading the base there. Soft bend in your knees. Now press down a little bit more and lift your hips higher. Head dropping down, chin to chest, everybody. Circle your triceps in towards your cheekbones. And take another full breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's walk our hands back towards our feet. So you arrive at the back of your mat for a forward fold. Bend your knees softly. Drop your head down and let's swim our hands behind us. Interlace your fingers at your lower back. Find a halfway lift, pull your hands back. See if you can take your shoulders and roll them way back. And then exhale, dive in deep, dive in deep. So again, this ancient science of yoga meant to Cultivate and maintain physical health, mental clarity, and emotional equanimity or balance. It matters you're here. Make this practice healing. Take one more great big inhale here. Good, everybody. Exhale, release your hands to the ground. We're going to walk them right back to your downward facing dog. You just hit the snooze button once or twice, Cass. Huh? Send your hips high, drop your head down. You got a good friend there, saving your spot. 
Let's get into this, everybody. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, bend your knees a little bit more, press your hips back and look forward. The very end of your exhale, walk, or you could lightly hop your feet between your hands so that your heels and toes touch. Take an inhale, pull your chest out long, a full breath for that halfway lift. Exhale, fold, dive, empty out. Lead with your chest and let's inhale, rise. Float your torso, reach your hands up high to the sky. Tell you what, exhale, lean it back, go post your arms and lift out of your heart, a standing back bend. Inhale, back up, reach up, stretch high to the heavens here. And then exhale, fold with control, with awareness. Ride that breath back down. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Shoulder blades squeeze a little bit. Exhale, plant your palms. Step to plank pose. Okay, hold here, everybody. See how your hips and your shoulders are pretty much on the same plane. Now, throughout this transition, your shoulders and hips should stay like this rather than your hips sinking down. In order to do that, Let's inhale, shift forward, your shoulders in front of your wrists, about four inches or so. And then as you lower halfway down, your elbows should go straight back. Stay strong around your middle, everybody. Good, inhale, upward, face and dog. Now bring the tops of your feet to the ground and roll your shoulders back. And then draw your navel in, exhale, send your hips to the sky, a downward facing, dog attack. Some simple movements. That if done with, again, that certain quality of attention, really become a meditation and help you drop into this practice. And, and in doing that, get all you can get from it. Inhale, head dropping down, brother, chin to chest. Look towards your knees, towards your thighs, back row. Inhale. Slight bend in your knees, that helps you. There you go. Now press your hips higher, brother. Keep that bend in your knees, though. Straighten your arms. We'll get it. Inhale, press your hips back. Look forward. End of your exhale, walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands. Find your halfway lift, flat back. You look up, heels and toes all the way together, all the way together. Exhale, fold, dive in, and empty out. Inhale, rise. Go ahead, float your torso. Reach up high to the sky here. Exhale, go post your arms, lift out of your heart. Spread wide across your heart, everybody. Inhale, back up, reach up and fill up here. Exhale, fold all the way to down. Heels and toes are all the way together, right? Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, you look up and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Remember, shift forward. And lower with so much control. It's like a tricep push-up. Elbow straight back. Inhale, upward face and dog. Feed your heart through. Tops of the feet down. Now see if you can lift your knees and thighs. Exhale. There you go, buddy. Send your hips to the sky. Dog. Nice job, everybody. Simple movements, but movements that we want to be able to do till we're 130, 140, 150 years old. And as you know, showing up here today is going gonna, is gonna to help that. And I encourage you to keep showing up more days than you don't. The compound effect of that is vitality. Is, is just mobility, strength. Inhale, hips press back, look forward. End of your exhale, walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands. Halfway lifty, flat back in. Exhale, dive, fold, and empty out completely. Inhale, let's rise. Take your torso and float it up to the sky. Ah, exhale, lean it back, go post your arms, your heart lifts. Inhale, back up, stretch your hands to the sky here. Take the whole exhale to fold all the way down, lay your torso out long, and empty out completely. 
Good, y'all. Inhale, find your halfway lift, pull your chest out. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward and lower with control. Good, everybody. Upward facing dog is just a, a sweet sensation, hopefully. Exhale, hips to the sky. Dogger. Sweet, sweet dogger, y'all. Woo. Man, the layers are coming off. A couple minutes ago, you were chilly. Not anymore. We're going to keep slowly building momentum and slowly building that heat and the top us from within. One more breath here. One more flow on your own, everybody. Easy like Sunday morning. Add or skip something if you want. It's all good with me. You got to breathe, y'all. You got to breathe. Whew, and we're on our way. The blood is starting to move. Those toxins from that party last night are starting. They're starting to, uh, make their way towards the surface. Inhale, let's send our right leg high to the sky. Uh-huh. Flex your foot. Straighten your leg. Spiral inward with your thigh. So your inner thigh spirals up, the outer portion of your thigh spirals down. You're going inward there. Really, really good. Keep your right leg lifted. Let's inhale, shift forward to plank pose, high push-up position. And listen carefully, exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Your left knee, Sabrina. Lower to the ground your left knee. And then extend your left arm forward. <laughs> You'd think it was April Fool's, y'all. Now, look down, make the back of your neck nice and long. You could drop your left knee down. Ah, there we go. Now, hollow out your belly, everybody. I want you to pull up and engage your core. So that you're strong and you support your spine here. We're lifting higher inhale. We're stretching longer exhale. Now turn your left palm face up. Take your left elbow to 90 degrees like you're lifting a tray above your head. And then do the same thing with your right leg. Bend your knee, flex the foot, lift to the sky. Your elbow is 90 degrees, Jimmy. Ah, palm facing up, you got that tray. Ah, there you go. Like a tray full of those oils you always got. You're just serving around. Two more breaths, y'all. Inhale. Exhale it out. Let's inhale, lift, reach everything long. Breathe in. And then just set your left hand to the ground. Curl your left toes under. Inhale your right leg back up high to the sky. Three-legged doggy, y'all. Bend your knee. Stack your hip. Uh, we're still on the right leg over there. There you go. I know what you're thinking. How the hell does he see that? There's all these people here. I see that, okay? Head dropping. Lift your left heel, everybody. Oh, nice. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale the right. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, sweep your right foot through to your hand. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two. There we go. Have a long stance. And why not bend deep into your front right knee? Maybe even deeper than you normally do. You can push your edge a little bit. If your knee comes in front of the ankle, brother, you need to slide your foot forward. So a longer stance. If your knee is in front of the ankle, which it is. You don't want the knee in front of the ankle. So that's an indicator that you want a longer stance. There we go. 
And then you're doing kind of what I do, which is lean forward. If that's you, take it back so that you're straight up, shoulders right above your hips. And then tall and long in your arms, breathe in deep. And then exhale, you can sink a little bit deeper, but as you do, feel your right leg, feel your left leg. You want them working equally. Good, now relax your face, bud. You're all good, you're gonna be good. Inhale. Exhale, let's inhale, start to reach, reach, reach it forward. Side angle pose is your exhale. Utita Parishva Konasana. Bring your forearm to your thigh if you're new. See him? Forearm on his thigh. Yeah, very good. Now breathe. Let's take your left hand and reach it towards the ocean. Now your feet are your anchors in the posture. Ground into both of your anchors. Feel your left foot, the knife edge. Ground into the knife edge of that anchor, your left foot, and then take your left hand and reach it away from that. Create some space. Feel that space you're creating, that sensation. Good. Now, you want to be narrow. So rather than here, roll open. Ah, one more. Inhale. Exhale. Stay low on your lunge. Inhale. Reverse your warrior. Slide your left hand down the back of your left leg. Keep a nice deep bend in that front right knee, y'all. Back left leg is straight still. Your back left toes angle forward slightly. Little inward rotation. There you go, bud. Now look up over your right fingertips and lift up and away with a big, beautiful breath, y'all. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step your right foot back and lower down slow. Oh, nice. Inhales upward, face and dog. You can skip whatever you don't need. Exhale, hips to the sky. Dogger. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Couple breaths here, y'all. Breathing deep. Breathing all the way up into your left toes. Spiral inward with your left thigh. Keep your hips level. Ah, very good, y'all. You're doing amazing. Keep your left leg lifted. Let's inhale, shift it forward to plank pose, high push up. Great job, y'all. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Your right knee. And extend your right arm forward. <laughs> so here, spinal strengthening, right? These muscles that run parallel to your spine, we're working those. These are important muscles. Spinal traction, this helps to straighten your spine. This helps to lengthen. You're pulling your hand and foot away from each other. Now, right palm face up, bend your elbow 90 degrees, lift that tray over your head, and do the same with your left leg. Flex your foot, bend the knee, and lift it up. Ah, very good. I know this feels a little bit awkward, but you know, it's really nothing uh, compared to how awkward it looks. One more breath, y'all. Let's inhale, stretch everything long, and lift up one more time. Just set your right hand down, curl your right toes under, inhale your left leg high to the sky, three-legged doggy. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Couple big circles if you want. If you went there on the other side and you were lifting your right heel, that adds another dimension to this one for me. Inhale, left leg, back up high. Exhale, shift forward, pull your knee into your chest, and then see if you can step the foot through. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two. Check one. We steady out our visual gaze, because it just makes sense that if your eyes are all over the place, then your mind's probably gonna do the same and you steady out your breathing. Same thing there. And then you kind of make sure you're, you're balanced, you're steady, you can work on your alignment. Now you bend deep into your front left knee. It wants to lean inward, but make sure you point it straight forward. Ah, nice. <laughs> Another full breath, two more breaths, y'all. So come up, inhale. Simple postures that you want to be able to do your entire life. Simple postures that touch and take care of and maintain everything. We don't have to complicate anything to take care of everything. 
Inhale, reach, reach, reach it out. Side angle pose is your exhale. Yeah, everybody. Stay narrow. Clean lines of energy. Right hand, if you went there on the other side, you could reach towards the ocean. But remember, palm is facing down if you do that. And right shoulder is rolling back a little bit. Very good. Two more breaths, y'all. Soak them up. Inhale. Exhale. How about one more, huh? Inhale. Exhale. Stay low in your lunge. Inhale. Reverse your warrior. Look at this, uh, this dinosaur on the beach there. You see that? I need to get one of those costumes. Lift up and away. Stretch deep into your left side body. That's pretty cool down there, isn't it? Okay, everybody, you can look at the dinosaur costume. One more. Inhale, reach it back, breathe in. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step back, lower slow. Elbows tuck in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Heart comes through, open wide. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, bend your knees, press your hips back, look forward. End of your exhale, walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands, your heels and toes touch. Take a halfway lift, look up and lengthen, breathe in here. Exhale, dive, heels and toes, squeeze them all the way together. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips, lift your chest, and reach your hands to the sky. Good. All right, brother. Squeeze your legs together. There you go. Bring your weight into your heels so that your toes get light. Inhale, reach up and away. Think upper body ascending. And weights in your heels, lower body descending. Very good. Another simple posture. Doesn't seem like we got a whole lot going on, but sensation-wise, strength-wise, focus-wise, we got a whole lot going on. How about one more big, beautiful breath in, everybody? Amazing. Exhale, release to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look up and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward, lower halfway down and strengthen. Inhale, that upward facing dog. Open your heart and let it shine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pull your hips to the sky. Inhale, lift your right leg, send her up high. Exhale, let's add knee to nose. Always good for a knee to nose. Inhale, right leg, stretch her high. Take the whole exhale, sweep her through to your hand, spin your back foot flat. Inhale, second warrior, spread your wings, heart towards Mission Beach. Take the whole exhale to lengthen and extend your side angle pose. Beautiful. Stay low. Inhale, reversing warrior. And exhale, we take it on down, we step it on back, and we move through that flow. Phenomenal job, y'all. Upward face and opens your heart. Exhale, hips to the sky. Doggy. Inhale, your left leg. Send her up. Exhale, knee to nose. Maybe you can get forehead. Inhale, stretchy high. Good. And the exhale, sweep her through. A low lunge. Inhale, open wide. Heart towards La Jolla. Exhale, more length. Extend side angle pose. Uh-huh. Stay low. Inhale, reversing, warrior. Exhale, take it on down. Step it on back. Lower down slow. Easy like Sunday morning flow. Whoo! All right, all right, all right. Nice work, everybody. Inhale. Where? 
Exhale. Pull your breath in deep. Keep it flowing. Inhale, press your hips back. Look forward here. What the hell is your feet, Cobra? End of your exhale, walk or lightly float your feet between your hands. Very good. Halfway lift, look up and lengthen, breathe in. Exhale, dive, fold and empty out. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips, lift your chest and reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Phenomenal. Halfway, y'all, look up, reset your spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward and lower with so much strength. Awesome. Upward face and dog, feed your heart through. Exhale, hips to the sky, dogger, 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 root. Inhale, your right leg, send her on up. Good, knee and nose, push your breath out. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, see if you can step it through, heel, then ball, then toe. Inhale, second warrior, spread those wings and open wide. Exhale, lengthen, extending. Side angle pose. Stay low. Inhale, reversing. Warrior. Amazing. Exhale. Take it on down. Step it on back. Move through that flow. You got the left side on your own, everybody. You're doing amazing. And you're doing a huge service for yourself. Right? So many of us. For so many of us, this is a big weekend. Left side on your own. But it matters that you show up. It matters you take the time. No more baked potato for you, Cobra. Yeah. Inhale. Exhale. We got one more of those, y'all. That's it. Inhale. Hips press back. Look forward. End of your exhale. Walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands. Find your halfway lift. Look up. Lengthen. And then exhale. Dive. Draw your navel in. Empty. Inhale. Chair pose. Sink your hips. Lift your chest and reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Go ahead and dive it on in. Halfway, lifty, flat backy. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward. We call this Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward face and dog. Heart opens wide. Take your shoulders, roll them back. Good. Exhale, send your hips to the sky. You know the flow, yo. Inhale, right leg, send her on up. Knee to nose, ha! Inhale, reach it high. Go down the exhale, sweep it through, low lunge. Inhale, open wide. You know where to go, everybody. Let your breath lead you through, right? Your breath is like your gas pedal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, everybody. Cobra, who'd that one? Bookie.
Who is that one? Great, great job, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Keep pulling your breath in, deep into your lungs. And keep it flowing free. From here, let's, uh, Let's inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Flex your foot, inward rotation once again. Walk your hands back towards your left foot. Take your right leg parallel to the ground. Bend your left knee a little bit to ease that left hamstring and your lower back. And then find your halfway lift. And then let's just see if we can take flight gracefully. Open up your arms and let's come to fly. Oh, nice. <laughs> Whoa. Steady your visual gaze. Squeeze your left quadricep, but you could leave a micro bend there. And then if your arms are out like those airplane wings, squeeze your shoulder blades. Stay buoyant. Stay broad. Crush your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. You got the option to reach your hands forward here. Exhale, hinge at your waist, hands to the ground. Walk it forward to three-legged doggy. Nice. Right leg, breathe it on up high. Exhale, sweep your right foot through to your hands. Stay high in the ball of your left foot. Inhale is crescent pose. Rise up, reach up and fill up. Good, so your back heel is lifted. Take another inhale, reach high. Exhale, slide your hands to heart center. Lean forward, draw your navel in, and then twist to your right. Pavidita Anjaneyasana. Now, again, feel your anchors. Make sure you're stable. If your thumbs are way up here by your shoulder, uh, a lot of times that happens because you're kind of just dropping your torso on your thigh. There should be some space between your left rib cage and your right thigh there. So lift up, and then your heart will find your thumbs. Black tank top over there. Lift up. Not you. You got it. And then if you want to separate your hands, you can fly those arms wide to make it a little bit more intense. You can drop your back left knee to make it less intense. Three breaths, y'all. Inhale. Exhale. Two breaths now. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Take it. Inhale. Good, our exhale, our release is gonna be runner's lunge. So re release both hands at the inside of your right foot. You could drop your back left knee to the ground if you wish. Uh, heel toe your right foot towards the front right corner of your mat. Now, couple options. This allows you to get deep into your front right hip and hamstring, so if you just want that, you can start to bend your elbows and come down to your forearms. If you'd like to add a quadricep stretch, the back knee is down. You can bend your back left knee, circle your right hand back, clasp the foot and pull it in. And you can get a little bit of both. So once you have that foot for the quadricep stretch, you can drop down to your left forearm. Pick your poison and breathe well. Yeah. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in big. Keep it flow. One more. Take an inhale. If you have that, that left foot, let's see if we can drop that left foot down gently. 
If you're on your forearms, start to straighten your arms, come back up. Curl your back left toes under, pick your back left knee up. Pull out through your chest, think halfway lift. And then exhale, walk your hands to the left. Straighten both legs, parallel your feet. Now, hands underneath shoulders. Take an inhale, find a halfway lift, look up. And then turn your left toes out to about 45 degrees and come to Eskandasana, back of your mat. So bend your left knee, lunge to the back of your mat. Good, now you can keep your hands to the ground for support. Uh, we're not, it's not a low lunge. Check out over here, Skandasana. These girls right in front of the, the tree there. Ah, if you'd like to bring your hands to heart, spin your back right, toes up. There we go. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, kind of more like him. Ah, like a kung fu lunge, if you will. And then take your hands to the ground. Inhale, straighten both legs. Come through that halfway lift, both legs straight. And then turn your right toes out. And move to Eskandasana at the front of your mat. Bend deep into that knee. Turn your left toes up. And then your choice, you could have your right foot flat. Your heel could be lifted. Again, keep your hands to the ground if you need support. I always do. Find where you need to be. Inhale. Exhale, another full breath. And then we're gonna go a couple times each side. One more, inhale. Exhale, all right. Walk your hands through center. Find a halfway lift. And then skandasana out of the back of your mat. Take her down, bend your left knee. Uh-huh. Inhale, back through center. Just walk it through center. Walk it through the halfway lift. And then exhale to the top of your mat, skandasana. One more each, each side, y'all. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back of your mat. Inhale, we take her through center. Breathe in. Exhale. Man. <laughs> Inhale, back to center. Parallel your feet. Breathe in. Exhale, fold into both of your hamstrings. Prasarita parotonasana. Thank yourself for being here, everybody. This stuff is, is hugely, hugely beneficial. Physically in our body, we're strengthening, we're lengthening, we're opening, we're releasing. And this self-induced stress helps to mitigate the constant stress and tension that we all, we all have kind of builds up and it's that constant stress and tension that that's the unhealthy stuff. It's a good thing you're here. Hands underneath shoulders. Look up and lengthen, breathe in here. Now walk to low lunge, top of your mat. And then look forward here. Jet airplane your arms along your side body. Lift your back heel a little bit higher. Now how slow can we lean forward and lean into airplane pose from here? Just a different way than we came into it a, a few minutes ago. Good. Now this time, without your left toes touching the ground, come to standing, pull your left knee up into your chest. You can interlace your fingers an inch or two below your knee. Firm up your right quadricep. And if you'd like, you can just kind of Take your left knee and swing it out to the side and move to tree pose by placing your left foot above or below your right knee. But there's plenty of options you can go to from here. Whatever you choose, steady gaze, steady breath, steady body, steady mind. Awesome, everybody, five. Four. This is it, everybody. Last three. Great success. Two. Okay, if you're taking an inhale here, reach your hands to the sky. And then just slide your left foot down next to your right. Heels and toes together. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Stretch a little bit higher. Breathe in. 
And then exhale, lean to your right, press your hips to the left. Oh. Straighten your arms as best you can, everybody. Chin away from your chest. And then see where your shoulders are. Either level them out or left shoulder back slightly. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, let's take her back to center. Reach to the sky. And then switch it up. Lean left, press hips right. Lateral flexion in your spine, but also getting into your rib cage, the intercostal muscles, the interconnective tissue. We're going deep, yo. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale, one more. Full breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, back up, reach up and fill up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Arda, chest pulls out. Exhale, plant your palms. Step to plank pose. Squeeze your legs together. Ground into your left hand. Roll open to your right. Vashistasana. The side plank pose, y'all. Engage your outer obliques. We all look really good. If you need to drop a knee or stack your feet one behind the other, cool. If you want your right leg up off your left, now's the time. Yeah. Good, brother. Right hand towards the ocean. Utah, give me two. Inhale. Exhale. Reach a little bit. Oh, nice. Exhale to plank. Take her to the other side, everybody. Other side. Bashe stastana, the side plank pose. Awesome, everybody. Good, Rochelle. Engage those outer obliques. Lift your hips. Maybe left leg up. Maybe not so much. Left hand, ocean. Two. Inhale. Exhale, reach a little bit longer. Oh, exhale, release. Either move through your flow or straight back to dogger, yo. Oh, you're doing amazing, everybody. This is huge. Huge, mega service you're doing for yourself. We just got the left side to go. And then we'll close it down, and uh, there's a lot of stretching in there, too. So it's easy like Sunday morning, for sure. Easy for me to say, that is. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Flex your foot. Inward rotation. Walk your hands back towards your right foot. Left leg parallel to the ground. Right knee bending little bit. Find halfway lifty. Let's come to fly, everybody. Yeah, come to fly like we're uh, like a flock. A flock of seagulls here soaring over the coast. I'm talking about the bird, not the 80s band. But if you're old enough to know who flock of seagulls are, you know they, they had a couple of sweet tunes. Two breaths, y'all. In here. Exhale, option to reach your hands forward if you haven't already. Exhale, hinge at your waist, hands to the ground. Walk it forward, three-legged doggy. Yeah. Inhale, left leg out of the sky. Exhale, sweep all the way through to your hands. Stay high in the ball of your right foot. Inhale, crescent pose. Rise up, reach up, and fill up. Exhale, pavarita anjaneyasana. Slide your hands to heart center. You okay over there? Lean forward, draw your navel in, and then twist to your left. Steady gaze, steady breath. Make sure you're so solid and steady that if I were to come over and try to knock you over, you wouldn't move an inch. 
Check your thumbs if they're way up by your left shoulder. Lift your torso up off your thigh. Create some space. Very good. And then see what you can get cooking. You want to separate those hands? All good with me, y'all. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. Keep it flow. One more. This is it, y'all. Inhale. Oh, nice. Exhale. Release. Both hands inside of your left foot. You could drop your back right knee. Heel toe your left foot towards the front left corner. And then if you want, if you want the quadriceps stretch, right knee bends, left hand reaches back. You could just drop down to your forearms or you can do a combination. Breathe, everybody. That same breathing we began with, we're at 50 minutes here. About ready to close her out. Breathe. y'all. Beautiful. If you have that quadriceps stretch, we're releasing gently. Back right toes curl under. Pick your back right knee up. Find your halfway lift. Look up. And then exhale. Walk your hands to the right. Straighten both legs. Parallel your feet. Let's see here. Swim your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers at your lower back. Find that halfway lift you know very well. And then exhale, dive in, fold in. It matters you're here. Plenty of other places you could be. How many of those would you think are, are this beneficial? Probably not too many. This is good. Right, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, look up and lengthen. Exhale, walk your hands, low lunge, top of your mat. Spin your back right heel up. Lift your heart up, jet airplane your arms. Okay, now shift your weight forward. Come higher on the ball of your right foot. Feel that weight shifting. And then slow motion, airplane pose, Dakasana. Awesome. Now, without your right toes touching the ground, if at all possible, come to standing. Pull your right knee up into your chest. You could stay right here. This is balancing. If you'd like to move to that tree pose, knee swings out to the side. Right foot is above or below your knee. Hands start at heart, and then take it where you want to go. Five. Four. Good, for three. Two, both hands reach up high. Exhale, slide your right foot down next to your left. Just to standing. Reach higher, heels and toes all the way together. Exhale, fold all the way down. Uttanasana. 
Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, fold and squat down deep. Come high in the balls of your feet. Tuck your chin to your chest and see if you can bring your forehead towards your knees. Compress your throat a little bit. Massage and stimulate your thyroid and your parathyroid. Good, from here, straighten your spine, unfurl. Take your hands straight out in front of you. Shift your weight into your heels so your feet come flat. And then sit all the way down and lift your legs up for Navasana, boat pose. So in order for me to keep a straight spine here, I gotta bend my knees. Try that, but lift your heart up, squeeze your shoulder blades, pedicure asana, take your arms up, biceps with your ears, five, four, reverse plank in three, two, inhale. Set your heels down, point your toes. Take your hands behind you, thumbs face you, fingers forward. Press into your heels, press into your hands and lift your hips up high to the sky. If you'd like to bend your knees and take reverse tabletop, that's an option as well. But head's gonna drop back. If you just flopped it all the way back, slightly retucked into your chest. Good. Inhale. Exhale, that breath just keeps rolling. One more, inhale, lift up. Easily set your heels all the way down. Legs out in front. You can bend your knees a little bit. Work the flesh off from your seat. Root down, take the whole inhale. To reach up, look for length. And then take the whole exhale to fold down. Pashe Motanasana, your seated forward fold. Amazing, everybody. Nothing complicated, nothing overly technical about these shapes in our body, these postures we're taking. And nothing grandiose. But as I mentioned yesterday, you know, your, your success, your health, Things like this are not normally, it's very rare I should say, that they are here because of one event, right? It's not these one events that determine these things. It's the small decisions we make every single day. It's the compound effect of those that determine that. Right? You feel good after one yoga class, but after a constant practice, you come home and you, you, know, you notice that certain things in your body don't hurt like they used to. You might heal a little bit better. You might sleep better. It's the compound effect. It matters you're here. When you're ready, let's come back up. Palms face up, roll easily under your back. And let's take supine pigeon pose. Bend your left knee, take your right ankle across it. Flex your foot, thread the needle around your left leg. Lay back, pull it in, breathe, breathe.
Let's take that into our twist. Release your hands, twist your right leg over your left, or whatever you like you took over. For most of us, drop your right arm open, guide your knees towards the left side body. Good, everybody. Let's take her back to center. Unwind, pull both knees into your chest. And then switchy, that supine pigeon or supine figure four on the other leg. You can take that into your twist. And if you're good there, back to center. Pull both knees in. Neutralize. If you got that sweatshirt right next to you, and you feel like you might need it in the next couple minutes, go for it. Otherwise, release. Take your legs out in front. Let your palms rest face up along your side body. Lay back. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale here through your nose. And a clearing, cleansing exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale. And clear it out. One more, inhale. Hold full. Release, release. All that attention that we brought towards our breath, towards our breathing, towards the posture, towards sensation, was all to, you know, get value out of what we're doing, to make it a meditation, so that we can return to this inner quality of stillness. It's our natural state. We should feel like this a lot, but we don't.
we become disconnected from it. And yoga, which means to yoke or to connect, reconnects us with this state. Allow yourself to bask in it, and I'll guide us out in just a few. Shavasana. Okay. There he is. He coming. He coming to get you. The state that we're in right now, calm and peaceful and balanced, this is why we show up to our mat. To recalibrate everything, to reboot. If you're ready to move on with your day, you can maybe wiggle fingertips, toes. If you'd like to roll wrists, ankles, or roll on your side, you can do that. Now, I always try to keep my eyes closed. If you'd like to make your way to seated, find an easy way to get there. Thank yourself for showing up to your mat. It's not easy, but it's worth it. I thank you for showing up. I thank you for allowing me to guide you through everybody. Thank you for honoring that donation-based system, and, and thank you for your generosity. Um, I started these classes 14 years ago because it was expensive, and I, I just know that everybody can benefit from it on so many levels. So we've been here for 14 years. We keep it donation-based. Again, thank you for honoring that system. The divine within me honors and bows to that within you. Namaste.